Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. I was on the phone with family tonight, and I had yet to do my video blog for the day, so I asked for some feedback and some ideas. And the one thing my grandpa suggested was this saying, to do something off of this saying, which is not just your aptitude, but your attitude determines your altitude. So Grandma and Tata, thank you so much for the idea because I think that's a fantastic one to touch on tonight. And I'll be quick. It's not just your aptitude, but your attitude that determines your altitude. I think attitude is absolutely hugely important. and something that I've talked about before and I will talk about over and over and over again. But it's interesting because attitude came into play for me as it does every day, but specifically Lauren and I went to Walmart today to do some shopping and grocery shopping, not last minute Christmas shopping. We were ahead of the game with that. But we went to do some shopping and we walked into Walmart and there was a line of probably three or four people standing there waiting for a cart. As soon as I looked, in, looked inside the doors, I recognized that there were no carts sitting out. There were no carts available to use for anyone walking in the store at that time. And I immediately turned around, walked outside, found four carts just sitting outside, four carts. I grabbed two of them, brought them in, and gave one to one person and kept one for me and Lauren to use. And as I passed on the carts, I realized that there were still no other carts available, and there were still three or four other people standing, waiting for someone to bring in a group of carts so that they could have one of them. And, you know, not to pat myself on the back, but I, you know, I guess my attitude typically is, if I need something to accomplish some other outcome, AKA if I need a cart in order to do my shopping and there's no cart, I'm gonna go find a cart. I'm gonna go find something that I can use to put my groceries into that I can, so I can get my shopping done. And it's not, again, it's not something to pat myself on the back. It's more than anything, it's to recognize that if something as simple as getting a cart to do my shopping can pop up into my life. Maybe there are other areas of my life where I actually am just sitting around waiting for someone else to bring me a cart. And that's a metaphor, by the way. The metaphor being, are there areas in my life that I'm not pursuing as hard as I should pursue or I'm waiting for something else to happen before I can then go on and take the next step of action to accomplish an ultimate result or, or an ultimate goal that I have? So I guess my challenge to myself, my challenge to you is look at areas of your life that there might be opportunity for you to go out and take more action to make something happen and really become self-aware about certain areas where you might realistically just be sitting and waiting for someone to bring you something or make something happen for you before you then say, okay, now I can take the next steps. So just become self-aware about that. That's my challenge to you. That's my challenge to me is, is to constantly and consistently become more self-aware of what I'm doing, the way I'm thinking, the way I'm behaving, and what I'm maybe not doing that I should be doing. So I think it's important to have that, that attitude that you can always go make something happen. If it's not sitting there in front of you, you can go make it happen. And the ability to achieve a specific outcome is very much reliant upon your ability to create a great attitude in your mind and your heart on a daily basis. So it's not something for some people that just happens automatically, but keep in mind that attitude is hugely important and it's a big factor in terms of your ability to produce the results that you want to produce. So Merry Christmas Eve. I'm gonna wrap this up. Hope you have a fantastic night and a fantastic morning. Hope you've been good and hope Santa shows up and if you live in an apartment with no fireplace, which I do, um, I suggest just leaving all your doors and windows open to make sure he has access to get in and leave your presence. Or don't do that. Lock up and be safe. <laughs> I don't want any take any liability for people breaking into your apartments tonight because you didn't lock up hoping Santa would come. Just be safe. Have fun. Be awesome.